Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. This week in my bullet journal, I decided to go for another vertical layout because I just had a lot of things to do. So the vertical layout is really good for that. So I just made some swatches with my Tombow brush pen. This week I decided to go with a sort of tan colored theme and I'm just lettering in all of the dates. And the brush pen that I was using is the Tombow Fidenoske brush pen. So while I'm filling everything out, if you guys have any questions for me, definitely comment them down below because first of all, a lot of you guys asked for a Q&A and second, I thought it would be really fun to show you guys how I paint all of my clip art. And yeah, I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing how I paint, but it's just something that I want to do. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Um, and I'm also going to provide a Google Forms. So if you want to stay somewhat anonymous, then you can definitely use a form. And I probably won't be doing the Q&A for a couple of weeks because I'm currently in final season and life is just a little busy right now. But I want to collect some of your questions and film a really good Q&A. Anyways, back to the spread. I'm just drawing in a bunch of boxes and this week was just a roller coaster and I decided not to close off the top of the boxes because I knew that I wanted to track my mood for each day. I also pre-wrote down today I'm feeling um, for each of the boxes and I can fill it out as I go. Underneath each of the boxes, I'm going to make my to-do list, which is mostly school and shop related items. And like last time, I'm going to skip over some of the parts where I'm just writing down my to-do list because I don't think you guys want to see that. So on Monday, I finally made a new banner for our Facebook group. We have used the same old banner for a few months now and I wanted to change it up. And if you want to join, I will leave the link down below. I always post free printables every month and a lot of people post their spreads and hauls and it's just a super fun place to be. I also put down a paperclip sticker from Little Miss Papery to mark in that I wanted to prep for my RSM 100 lecture. Then on Tuesday, I put down my emoji head and I am going to fill out my mood. Tuesday was just not a very good day for me. I can't really get into it, but the mood tracker definitely helps. I also wrote down my to-dos with the Tombow brush pen for the rest of the week and I'm going to fill it out. I've also been getting a lot of questions about how much time I spend in my bullet journal. Basically, I spend maybe 10 to 15 minutes on a Sunday or Monday night just putting down the skeleton of the spread. It might be the boxes, lettering the dates. And for the rest of the week, I literally do not spend more than 5 to 10 minutes in my bullet journal. So yeah, I think it is very doable. What I do may be excessive for some people and that is totally okay. You do not have to use all these stickers and lettering. You can definitely just write in all of your to-dos and it should not take more than five minutes. I put down that giant sticky note sticker from my shop to mark in my tutorial and then continued with my to-dos. I then took my Tombow brush pen and made a huge swatch because I wanted to put in a quote. So first I stuck on a girl sticker from the Fox and Pip and I lettered in my quote. And it says, be yourself, an original is worth more than a copy. And on Tuesday, that's just a reminder that I wanted to put in for myself. Then on Wednesday, I wasn't feeling poorly and I also wasn't feeling well. So I decided to put down this emoji that has a mustache. And I know that a mustache is not a mood, but I just thought it was really cute. Then I am just filling in all of my to-dos and Wednesday, which was yesterday, um, was the last day of classes for my first semester in university. And yeah, one of the things that I wanted to do on Wednesday was just to reflect on the semester. Things like which study methods helped and what I can improve for my next semester. Then, as I mentioned, Tuesday was not so great for me. Um, so on Wednesday, I really wanted to take it easy and I decided to put down this lazy ass day sticker from Sparkly Paper Co. and I thought it was really fitting for this week. Also on Wednesday, I treated myself and ordered a new book. Um, it is Michelle Obama's book, Becoming, and I am super excited to read it because I heard a lot of positive reviews. And then moving on to Thursday, I honestly was just feeling really tired, so I put down this sort of distressed, yawning emoji and, of course, lettered in tired. So on Thursday, I wanted to finish a video and also a bunch of case studies for my management course. I also wanted to work on my new releases for this week, which I think by the time this video is up, I already sneaked the first part of it. Basically, it is themed around Lunar New Year 
and I actually committed to drawing all 12 of these zodiac animals which took forever but yeah I'm really excited about how they turned out and as usual those will be releasing on Saturday at 12 p.m. PST um, and I actually also made a YouTube coupon code for you guys I will definitely leave it in the description bar below if you guys want to use it a lot of what I do is on the computer so I put down this working girl sticker from Fox and Cactus and I usually have my hair in a bun when I'm working so that girl looks just like me then I'm filling out some of my to-dos for Friday and the weekend, but of course I didn't write in my mood because it is currently still Thursday. Um, but later in the week, I will go back in and fill in my mood and also flesh out my to-dos. So yeah, this spread was pretty simple and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it is super easy to do, so give it a go and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!